Hello everybody, hope you're doing really well. So today I'm slap bang in the middle of an amazing quarry site. We're in Walden and it's part of the Midway Quarry Sites and you'll be amazed to find what's left these two incredible structures. Hopefully you stay with me and you enjoy this one. I'll see you on the other side. Enjoy your history lesson. Bye for now. The cement works began life originally as a lime works and was called the former school farm lime works. But interestingly, the Walden Court cement works as we know it was the earliest cement works in the area, opening in 1847. However, in 1855, the first owners of the cement works, Thomas Freen and Co, became bankrupt. The cement works had various other owners. But its demise came when the Blue Circle Cement Company took over the Walden Court Works in 1900. But being a small and inefficient plant, it was closed just three years later. All that is left are the amazing chamber kilns and the chimney stack, which we're about to explore. So sit back and enjoy. Hello everybody, so we're at uh, Walden Quarry and uh, just thought I'd sort of take you around this sort of bleak but yet magical landscape that we're sort of in, this belly of this chalk quarry, this amazing sort of steep slopes that surround me as I sort of am currently walking on what it would have been the, uh, the tram tunnel and if you can see this just amazing sort of landscape it just reminds me all the time of like Jurassic Park but what we've come to see what we've come to see is just two really main features that I wanted to show you today there, there was another one but unfortunately or fortunately that's no longer accessible which I don't really mind to be honest preservation of history etc etc but the two main features that I want to focus on you can't you can't hide from this so this is the huge kilns that are in remarkable condition still um just incredible really there's a sign that does say keep out however but we'll ignore that for today we'll keep away just sort of see that huge structures and you know all around here, all around the Midway area, there was kilns and everything because of the chalk. So there's huge pits everywhere. In fact, it's sort of crazy to sort of think of actually how many there are. And I've probably only documented maybe just a few. So I thought I'd take a visit to this one because like with any sort of old quarry, there's always going to be unique things that this place holds. And although this is unique in itself, this is unique in itself. Actually, the thing that I want to take you to is the chimney stack, or the chimney part of uh, the uh, quarry site on the opposite side. So that's really what I wanted to sort of show you, although this is pretty cool really, isn't it? So what are we are looking at? So, let's have a look. So what you're looking at is these two little flumes that are sort of amazing brickwork. And you can see that it goes up into the main this main sort of furnace would have been the amount of heat that would have been coming from it and this huge brickwork that surrounds it absolutely incredible you know you can see like crawling up through there that you would have been in one of these amazing structures oh sorry you can see where the bricks from where the two flumes would have come out and they've made this rather large rubble pile that's sort of been sort of mounted almost like a trench and we'll head back down into it to the belly of the belly of the furnaces and you can 
Just imagine this construction, sound, heat bellowing, the men working. So you can see that here, I'm assuming these would have been part of the shutters for the flumes. I might be wrong on that, but that's what it looks like. And what's really nice about that is that you've got the original surface of this one with the nice little bit of detailing in there. And again, if you look through, you can see just this bit of, bit of light coming through, which obviously goes into the stoking of this furnace. How amazing is that? So yeah, even though you've seen these all before, it's still worth a visit. And this is the bit that we're gonna take you into today. Main, main part of it. Now we need a torch. So fortunately enough, I do have one. This is the main, main part of the furnace, the central, central part, the, the inner workings. It's dangerous because it's sort of, as you can see, it's collapsing and it's bits and. But yeah, look how impressive this is. And then what it does is it leads off into the kilns themselves. So what I'm going to do is, obviously the left one's inaccessible on that side. We'll take you into the right one. So you get to actually have a look. But amazing, isn't it? So let's just have a look here because this is the outer vent. If I can show you up there. There you go. Just conveniently put a rope, for whatever reason. If you want to do that, great. But let's go through. Here we are. In this incredible structure. And there you go, you can see the opposite side of these two them stoking this heat that would have been so intense and we sort of butted against the back end of the quarry site itself so I'll show you I'll show you this so behind us obviously there but in front of what you what you can see is this uh, on the sides of the cliff of the quarry you can uh, just imagine like I said the sound of all of this coming through and the fact like I said you know that this one is in remarkable good condition as a furnace is still testament to it but like I said there was other ones I wanted to take you to because I think a lot of people do know about this one and uh, it's probably one of the main reasons why I've always been a bit hesitant to sort of do it because it's like well you could probably YouTube this one and there'll be loads of people exploring this, but still great to finally put it on the channel and to document it more importantly. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Industry. I'll have to crawl through again. Back in. Network of tunnels. Apologise for the light. There you go. Wow. And looking out onto this incredible. On. So let's take a look. Let's carry on going down. I suppose, really, the trick, like anything, really is to not sort of fall over or do yourself any damage, but. Unfortunately, you can't guarantee anything in this world. Uh, 
So you just have to be careful, I suppose. My hair's a mess, I do apologise. I'm exploring, what do you expect? But, um, yeah, isn't it amazing? It's fantastic, I love it. And again, this one. So I'll show you, I'll show you from a sort of perspective of outside. Again, this is the actual original wall for this furnace, the, the actual original facing one, whereas the ones on the outer side, I think it's on this one as well, yeah. So the, the sort of, these two, this one, and the one on the outer side as well, the, you can see the decay of the bricks that have fallen through whatever reason, whether it's people or whether it's just simple working here. But let's carry on. Isn't it amazing though? Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Sun's just starting to come out now. Very gloomy day today. Let's get in here. Oh, is that going to give us a name? It does say brickworks on it. I'm not sure if you can keep that. That's a nice bit of detail. Look at that. So, again, on this one, it's seen better days, but look at the colouring of those bricks that red hue, that sort of almost pink in colour where probably I'm assuming those bricks have just been when they've been cleaned out that's their actual colour when they've just sort of been bashed and bruised and they've not sort of seen the elements so they've got that colour still that original colour that reddish brick colour that we're all very familiar with and then on here as you can see is part of the outlet again of this amazing sort of furnace this tunnel this would have linked up into this kiln site amazing isn't it tunnel what am i talking about you know what i mean i can't talk again today it's just this sort of jurassic park-esque nature of this landscape that sort of makes it so unique and interesting you feel at some point you're going to sort of see a plesiosaur a stegosaurus coming out beautiful and the wildlife is fantastic let me take you up to you can see the back end of this now I want to show you this so Because it's sort of that winter autumn time it actually makes it easier to sort of explore because even though it's slippy it's still beautiful look at this just nature the way it's reclaimed almost like a shower curtain <laughs> oh, as I drop in you can see Isn't that amazing Again, see this amazing brickwork coming through. Look at that. They would have been to links with this heat. Stoking the fire. Yeah. Simply incredible, isn't it? Simply incredible. Nature's shower curtain. If you can see that, can you see that? There you go. Nature's shower curtain. <laughs> I didn't damage it, which is good. I always don't really hate ruining any form of nature if possible. It's just not good, is it? But yeah, that, there you go. So, this was the kiln. I'll take you and you can have one final look. Walk across it.
Isn't that incredible? Nature is slowly reclaiming it, even though it looked like it had been cleared. Slowly reclaiming it. Right, on to the second thing I need to show you. So stay with me and I'll see you in a minute. Hello everybody, so just what I'd show you the second second structure that is left surviving really at Walden Quarry. And it's a beautiful one really, I've got to admit. It's this. It's uh, one of the, I think it's one of the chimney flumes that if you can see this tiny little chimney, or tiny, you can see Look, look at that. And it sort of just leads up and up and up. And it's really the only other structure that sort of survives here. You've got you've got so much evidence of all the other work in here, but really the main focus of what we wanted to look at today was these two bits of history and what amazing bits of history they are. We'll walk around it. Look at that. It's going to be beautiful, isn't it? Lone structure out in this quarry. This deserted quarry. Incredible. Well, that was it. That was your brief little thing about Warden Quarry and the immortal words of Phoenix history. Thank you as always for watching. Feel free to share, like, and subscribe. You can always share the video around and totally endorse it. Um, that's it. Isn't it amazing. So, yeah. I'll see you all very soon. Take care for now. Bye. Kapow. Oh, yeah, sorry. Kapow. <laughs>